Good morning, that's Sander. How are you all? I hope you enjoyed your uh, New Year holidays. Um, Happy New Year. Welcome to 2021. And uh, yeah, hopefully this year will bring uh, better luck, prosperity, love, joy and happiness for uh, everybody. Okay, so but before we start the class, let's say the prayer. So join your hands, close your eyes and pray. Mata, Pita, Guru, Devam. Amma, Achan, Teacher, Devam. Nalalim respect kyanam. Avri parnada kirkana. Alright? Okay. So please take out your textbooks, page 104. And... Uh, uh, we've, you've already heard the story, but I'll just explain it to you in brief. In brief means as a summary, in short. Okay, so it's an Aboriginal story and it explains why Emu, that is this one, cannot fly. Okay, so it's a story behind that. So this is the Emu and this is the Turkey brushed up okay so the emu is very tall it's very strong and it's very powerful okay it's his name is dinavan dinavan or yeah and the brush turkey's name is gumbul gubon gumbul gum gubon yeah sounds like bubble gum anyhow so <clears throat> this brush turkey tells Emu, he waits for a chance, he's very jealous of this uh, Emu and he tells him, see I have to tell you something, why do you fly everywhere? So Emu is wondering, if I don't fly, how will I go from one place to another? So the brush turkey says, um, you know, man does not fly, man is strong, he does not fly, uh, a bird as strong as you also should not fly because you're special. So the emu says, okay, I'll go home and uh, I'll talk to my wife and I'll let you know. So he, instead of flying home, he strides. Stride is to walk with long steps, okay? So he went home, he spoke to his wife. The next day, he saw, he came and met the brush turkey and he said, my wife and I, we both uh, took off our, sorry, so we took off our uh, wings, the brush turkey, uh, and then he said, okay, I'll raise you to the bush. I'll show you how strong I am. The brush turkey started laughing and he said, I didn't realize that you're so stupid to believe my story. Okay, I'll raise you and, you know, Emu was, he sprinted, he ran as fast as he could. But the brush turkey just flapped and he landed before the emu and he said, the other animals are not going to respect a bird who cannot fly. So he was so angry, he rushed at the brush turkey. That means he used to angrily go towards the brush turkey, striking out with his legs, you know. But he just flew away laughing. And emu knew he was tricked, okay. So now let's just look at the questions. Why do you think Brush Turkey wanted to hurt Emu? Because he was jealous. Why is walking better than flying according to Brush Turkey? Because walking is what men do, a human being and man is strong. So that is why walking is better according to Brush Turkey. Okay. How did Emu get home after listening to Brush Turkey? Instead of flying, what did he do? He went striding across the plane. What did Emu and his wife do after listening to Brush Turkey? They removed their wings. Who won the race? Brush Turkey won the race. What was Emu's reaction? He was angry. He was, you know, he striked at him. And how did Brush Turkey la uh, respond? He laughed and he flew away. Because he knew that Emu could never catch him. Right? Okay, so now let's go to page 106. 
think this is the one no one minute so page 106 uh, then you know uh, for a whole year emu never said anything to brush turkey like he didn't get angry he didn't say anything so brush turkey was a bit puzzled uh, confused okay so one day um emu's leg was uh, strong uh, had become strong and he could fly as fast or uh, run as fast as the other could fly so he took uh, two of his uh, the biggest chicks of uh, emus and he went to see brush turkey so when he went there he saw that you know all the children were crying for food and brush turkey was trying to feed them so he said uh, are you uh, busy like he asked so brush turkey said busy see i am tired i i have to feed all the children they're trying to teach them how to hunt but no luck so emu said yeah i can see that i can see you are having a, your hands are full and you're tired and busy but you know that's why i uh, my wife and i decided to keep only two of our uh, chicks and the rest we have given them away so that these two will become strong okay so the brush turkey and his wife uh, looked at the emu's chicks and they thought ah maybe true we should do the same thing and uh, he said uh, the next day i've taken your advice uh, i've kept two big biggest chicks and the rest i've given to my to their uncles and aunts he laughed and he laughed and he said what a fool you are a bird's strength lies not in his ability to use his wings but in the number of his children i'm sorry but you're as foolish as or even more foolish than emus and till this day emus cannot fly but they have a lot of chicks and the brush turkey can lay only two eggs each year all right so it's just a story to explain why they are the way they are okay we don't know where true falls and all we don't know it's just a story so when you and brush turkey met again what problem did brush turkey have he had a huge family whom he had to feed what solution did he move suggest to give away most of the birds just to keep two what did brush turkey do to his family he gave them away to his aunts and uncles what was emu's reaction he laughed and he laughed and he laughed okay so that is the story i don't want to uh, prolong this anymore but uh, i just need to show you something yeah this blue and green words i have already sent it to you so you have that try and see if you can answer these words these uh, questions it's just for us to discuss it because we are in not in class we will not be able to do that but that finishes our um our lesson uh, chapter uh, unit 7 next i'm going to take unit 8 but i want you to look at the green words again because i'm going to show you pictures and i want you to match uh like striding uh flapping uh running um, or uh, striking out all the green words i will show pictures and i would like you to match them okay so just go through the blue and green words again which i gave you last year um and yeah that's it all right so that's it for today, uh, third standard. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the story, and I'll see you tomorrow with a new lesson. All right? Okay then. Take care. Bye. Jai Hind.